so now we'll install the end stop for all three axes so first we'll install for Z axis then uh, we will install for other axis so, uh, this one I'm going to use it for Z axis so uh, this have a T nut so that I can install on 3030 uh, aluminum extrusions so that it will come and it will hit so that this switch will be activated so let's see that first then we'll install other axis okay. so I just mounted this on this 3d printed part okay. so let's see how to install so this will be installed here so with the help of this t-nut we can install okay. So this should be installed like this. Later, we can adjust the height and all. Okay. So the axis is ready. We can zoom in and see the axis and stop. Okay. So we can adjust this. Okay. So now the axis is completed. So now we need to work on X axis. For X axis we need this 3D printed part. So what you can do is you can place the 3D printed part first here. It's very simple one just so this will lock the thing. Okay. So place it here. Just secure. So we can adjust this however we want then now okay. now we need to place this one here so using the zip tie you can place this one here. so that when it comes it will hit the switch okay so what you can do is just you can adjust any of this you can remove it take this and take it through this one okay. so here you can see there will be a hole so you can use that Then just lock the zip tie. So that this end stop will stay there. So, okay, I will do this one and I will come back. So I installed the zip tie. So now you can see here I didn't cut the end so you can see here okay so now Z and X axis both are ready so now we need to prepare the Y axis now we need to install Y axis and stop for that uh, we have to rotate this is this is the front portion of the 3d printer so we need to place the end stop in the end means back side okay so i did one change is like earlier the y-axis motor is here so what i did is i just shuffled this tensioner i just shifted from there to here and this motor i just send it there okay so that is the only change you if you want you can keep it in the same way no problem no issues the way it is working it's same so what I did is just I replaced the means I just shuffle the motor to this tensioner tensioner to motor that's it okay.
so we have to go back side of the 3d printer so this is where uh, the motor is at. earlier we have a uh, tensioner here now uh, we can see a motor okay so so, so yes this setup is very simple just what you need to do is so so this will be placed here then uh, zip tie Just tighten the zip tie. That's it. You can hear the sound. Okay, so that's it. Just tighten this. Then uh, I'll be back. So yeah, this is ready now. So it is have tension. So if you want, you can just tighten this little more. If you want, you can add additional zip tie to cover from here to here. So timing, I'm not doing it. It's fine. So when this comes, you can hear the sound. Yeah. So maybe later I'll do something for this. But it's a very easy setup, so no need of extra and complex part. So it's enough. Okay. So now our X, Y, Z axis. End stops are ready so in the next step what we will do is just we need to connect things to main board so z axis x axis and y axis so it's ready so just we have to give connection to the main board then 3d printer is ready for operational okay so in the next video we'll see how to connect the connections from motherboard to different motors thank you